Could be the last time Ben plays in Cleveland. Do you want to get him a couple times? <laughs> well, hell, I have to send him off, right? <laughs> if it is. Ben does a good job. You can't fool him. He understands coverages, and he gets rid of the ball extremely quick when he knows what he's looking at. I mean, I think it's just the same thing every single game. you got to be ready to, you know, cover as long as needed. Um, sometimes rush might not get there. I mean, you got to be able to cover it long enough, and sometimes a rush will get there, and you only got to cover for maybe two seconds. So, I mean, you just got to stick to your man um, and just have, uh, you know, control eyes. Big Bang's a smart player, so he's going to take what you give him, and that's where you see all the underneath stuff. He has guys that can get yards after catch, but he has he knows his, you know, his shot plays. He knows when... Uh, we're in a coverage where he could take a shot outside, and that's what they do a good job of, like mostly outside shots. And he, he picks and chooses when he wants to do it, and he's been having success his whole career. So we definitely got to be ready for it. But he's left a, a, a huge legacy in, in Pittsburgh and, and here. So I got to make sure that he doesn't, he doesn't leave with a win. But I you know, got to respect what he's done and, and the greatness that he's had on the football field. Are TJ and Minka the first two guys you look for when you get to the line, and what makes them so good? In that large human being, 97 in the yeah. middle, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, they're, they're game changers. So those are the guys that you try and neutralize and make sure they're not wrecking the game. TJ, yeah, um, he has a he has a really really good get off. I know that was one of our points of emphasis last year was trying to change up the cadence a little bit. But he has a really really good get off, which helps him get those those strip sacks or those uh, forced fumbles around the edge. I mean, he can do it all. I mean, he's he's, he's quick. He's, he has a ton of moves he can set up, and uh, I think he's just I think he's a real smart player. I think he's a guy who has a plan um, ahead of him, and and uh, he's going to dissect it through how I play. You know, he's going to read the, uh, the way I'm playing and how I'm setting and uh, base his plan off of that. You know, um, it'll definitely, he's not a guy where you're going to see it all in the first quarter. He's a guy who's going to set things up, and uh, it's going to be a constant chess battle. It's definitely a division rivalry. I think you, you hear more about it within the fans and the, and the community than anything. Um, it's, you know, when you, when you play the same guys over and over again, it, it tends to be like that. But, um, yeah, it's just another good opponent and a great challenge for us. This division has kind of been, you know, carried by the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, and I think for the first time in a long time, of, as I can remember, it's, it's pretty even, you know. Um, so um, for us, again, division games is always important, but it makes it that much more. It's definitely a different vibe, you know, two tough teams up north is cold and it's going to be fun.